Hey Credit Warriors, Credit Shifu here, and yes, we have a new credit card launching later this month called the Chase Freedom Flex. Have Chase's marketing department been watching Brian Jung videos? Flex value rules the world. Maybe. Anyway, the Chase Freedom Flex will be available from September 15th. Now you may just be thinking, isn't this a rebranding of the original Freedom? Well, yes and no. So. The original Freedom will now not be available to new applicants, okay? The only card you'll be able to apply for is the Freedom Flex, so the Freedom Flex replaces it. However, current Freedom Card members will be grandfathered into the Freedom. So the two cards will exist at the same time. If the Freedom Card members want to get the Freedom Flex, they'll have to call up Chase and do a product change. So because of that fact, because the two can exist at the same time, this is considered a new product and Chase uh, advertises is as such in their press release, the new Freedom Flex. So let's go through it. And the first big change you're gonna notice is that the Freedom Flex is a MasterCard, whereas the current Freedom and also the Freedom Unlimited, they're both Visa cards. And it's not just any MasterCard, it is actually a World Elite MasterCard and that gives you access to a load of MasterCard's benefits. And we'll go through those now. So you get cell phone insurance up to $800 per claim and $1,000 per year in cell phone protection against theft or damage to phones listed on the card member's monthly bill. Lyft, you get a $10 credit for every five rides each month. Uh, Box, there's 5% cash back. Um, Shop Runner, free membership. And Fandango, you get double VIP points for movie tickets purchased on the Fandango app. Um, you can pause the video and read all those in more detail. Now the first two of those are very attractive to me, especially the cell phone insurance, and I most probably will uh, do a product change from the Freedom to the Freedom Flex, and then start putting my monthly cell phone bill on that card. And I have the iPhone 11, which cost me, for the configuration I've got, cost me pretty much exactly $800, so I would be able to get a brand new phone uh, or cover any repairs in one claim uh, on the uh, insurance through MasterCard on the Freedom Flex. Now let's move on to the new cashback slash ultimate rewards earning categories. Now the Chase Freedom Flex will keep the existing 5% rotating category, right? I was like, phew, when I heard that, because I was worrying that would go away, okay? But no, they're, they're keeping the existing 5% rotating categories, which is great, but they are adding some new ones. Let's check that out. So you now earn 5% on travel through the Chase Ultimate Rewards Portal, which includes vacations and car rentals, 3% on dining purchases, which includes takeout and delivery, 3% on drugstore purchases, on daily essentials, etc., and then 1% unlimited cashback on everything else. Now, 5% cashback on travel is great, and don't forget these points, uh, you know, they're not just cashback. If you have the Sapphire or the Ink card, you can transfer them into Ultimate Rewards points, and then that's worth even more, okay? So 5X, 5% on travel is great. The only thing is, you have to book the travel through Chase Ultimate Rewards Portal, which you know sometimes gives you a good price on certain things, but often the price is better elsewhere. So you will have to check other sites, Expedia and directly through airlines and stuff like that, just to make sure you're getting the good price because you know if you're getting 5% back, but you're actually getting an, a price that's inflated by 10 or 15%, you're not really getting a deal. So you do have to just be aware of that. Then we have 3% back on dining, which to me is a little bit weird because the Chase Sapphire Reserve already offers 3% slash 3x points on dining, okay? So it kind of ruins the idea of the Chase trifecta where all the cards kind of complement each other and earn on different categories. You're now doubling up. Now I think Chase would have been better off adding a grocery category instead of this dining category, all right? Because then that kind of complements the next one, the drugstores. So the Chase Freedom would very much be for the sort of uh, everyday purchases. And then you'd have your Chase Sapphire Reserve, which would be for the sort of more like luxury living, like travel and dining in fine restaurants and higher class, you know, entertainment style purchases, all right? Freedoms every day and uh, Sapphire Reserve is the sort of high class card. But doing it this way, giving that 3% or 3x on dining on the Freedom may actually cause some people with the Sapphire Reserve to actually downgrade to the Sapphire since, you know, they're not traveling right now really, so they're probably not getting uh, 3x on travel, okay, because they're not spending much on travel. Uh, so, you know, spending on dining, including takeout, okay, people are still spending on that. So you might as well downgrade to the CSP and not pay for all the extra stuff like the lounge access and stuff on the CSR uh, until we're traveling again, right? And since you're getting 3X on dining on the Freedom anyway, which has no annual fee, 
you might as well. It's kind of a no-brainer, really. Now, in addition to the new Freedom Flex, there will be some changes coming to the Freedom Unlimited, which are pretty cool. So in addition to earning 1.5% cash back on everything, the Freedom Unlimited will actually be getting uh, some new bonus categories, basically the same as the Freedom Flex. So we'll just go through that. So on the Unlimited, you'll also be getting 5% on travel, purchased through Chase Ultimate Rewards, 3% on dining, and 3% on drugstores. Now, I also want to point out as well that the both cars, the Chase Freedom, Freedom Flex, etc., uh, they will also have the Lyft and DoorDash benefits, which were brought in earlier this year, or was it last year? I can't quite remember. But anyway, those previously announced benefits will continue. So I think we can see what they're doing here. They're choosing um, to give people some more value on everyday spending on the Freedom cards. Uh, and you, you know, they've actually been really pumping these cards as well. They've been giving a really great sign up bonus on the Freedom and the Freedom Unlimited. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end of the video, but it is a really, really great sign up bonus. And you know, they're possibly tempting people away from the more premium cards, maybe even tempting people to downgrade, like we said. And that's possibly because those premium cards aren't making as much money for Chase right now. I, I'm not quite sure. That's just my own thinking, okay? Not based on any official statement or anything like that. Just a hunch. Now, here is what BJ Mahoney, general manager of the Chase Freedom said in a press release from Chase. Earning cash back on dining, including takeout and delivery, drugstores and travel through Chase Ultimate Rewards provides immense value for customers in both the immediate and the long term. Now notice he said the word immediate in addition to long term. Uh, that kind of gives a little hint that they are tailoring these benefits to the situation right now where the world is kind of recovering from coronavirus lockdowns and people still aren't traveling and people are standing a lot more in grocery stores and uh, you know takeout and stuff like that so that's a little bit of a clue as well as to their strategy so guys if you want the freedom flex or the freedom unlimited or perhaps you just want to get in on the original freedom before they close the applications not sure why you'd want to do that because the freedom flex is definitely better but anyway um, both the freedom unlimited and the regular freedom right now are offering a great sign up bonus it's two hundred dollars after spending $500 in the first three months, but that is not all. They're also offering 5% back at grocery stores for the first 12 months on $12,000 worth of spending, okay? So that's actually a pretty awesome bonus. Um, now, obviously the Freedom Flex comes out on September 15th, so that's not open for applications yet. But if you are interested in the other two, especially the Freedom Unlimited, I have a link for that below. You can learn more about it. The Freedom Unlimited, if you apply now, you'll get the sign up bonus. And then also obviously on September 15th, those new bonus categories will be added automatically to your card, okay? Whereas with the Freedom Flex, you have to actually product change to it. Um, so yeah, if you are interested in the Freedom Unlimited, check out the link below. Uh, and obviously in the future, if you decide that you want the Freedom Flex, you could actually product change to that at some point uh, down the line in the future. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments about this new card below, the new Freedom Flex. I'd love to hear what you think. I do often read the comments. Uh, please subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>